Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to yet another video of Tinker Lab at Home Motor Machines. In this video, I will show you how to attract things with the power of electricity. So, for that activity, we need two magnetos, this double pop, we need three volt power source, we need the motor bit, and also we'll need these thermocol balls, fan, and balloons, which you will get in box number one. And you'll also require this mini vacuum cleaner cup. So there is a syringe inside it which will remove, we don't require this for our activity, we will we'll need only this cup. So let's get started. So the motor machine which we are going to build today is called static mixer. So as always we will begin by fixing the motor bit. So here we are using the double pop, so I will fix the motor bit into the double pop bit. Then for the motor to work we will need the power source, now to make it stable. I will use the two magnetos here and then onto the motor we will fix this fan. Now for our activity we need the fan to push air upwards alright. So let's check. So I am switching on. So I am not getting, I am not getting any air upwards. So let me change the terminals. So you can also check like that. First you can check whether the fan is pushing air upwards or downwards and then depending on that you can change the terminals or not. So now I have changed the terminals. Let me check again. So now I can feel the air coming up. Now we need to be ready with an air filled balloon. Once the balloon is ready, the next step is to place this measuring jar onto the fan inverted like this. Now take the thermocol balls from the packet. Now switch on the power source and then pour the thermocol balls on top from the hole. So let me switch on. So, the thermocol balls are being rotated by the fan, they are being electrically charged. Take the balloon in the other hand and rub it on dry hair. If your hair is not dry, get someone whose hair is dry and rub on their hair for 5 to 10 times. Now since the fan is rotating, the thermocol balls are charged and when we rub the balloon on our air, opposite charge forms on the balloon and that's why the thermocol balls get attracted and get stuck onto the balloon. 